Hi, I'm Ben Curitan, lead combat designer on Darksiders 2, and this is The Crucible. Welcome to The Crucible! Here, the strongest are tested, and the weak are destroyed! Let me explain the rules. The more creatures you defeat, the deeper into the Crucible you'll go. But if at any time you fall, you will earn nothing. The Crucible, at its core, is a mystical arena meant to test your skills in battle. It's automatically unlocked after the player proves their mettle during the main story. Keep in mind, the further the player progresses the story, the more challenges await them in the Crucible. It's important to note that no experience is gained within the Crucible. If a player feels underpowered, they'll need to come back at a later time, stronger, ready to take on previous obstacles. The rules are pretty simple. Defeat waves and waves of increasingly difficult enemies. Every five waves, the player is presented with a choice to either take a randomly generated prize and reset their current progress, or risk everything and continue. Is it the prize and freedom you want, or more punishment? He chooses to fight on! Each time the player is presented with a choice, it will be more valuable than the last. You can take the loot and leave, or even start over from the beginning. However, if the player falls in battle, they leave with nothing. The Crucible was designed as a direct response to the request of our fans and as a love letter to all combat fans. It's a great place to practice your combat moves, learn new techniques, and throw down the biggest combos you can dream of. While the Crucible starts with players battling small and medium enemy types, it quickly progresses into more difficult challenges. Early on, you might see a handful of soldiers, but later on, you'll face challenges even more difficult than in the main storyline. In total, there are 100 ways to complete before players can truly call themselves the champion. 